Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the steps for making a fire cider. Uh, some people call this a master tonic, but what it is overall is a medicinal tonic that you can make from fresh herbs, uh, different root vegetables, uh, different spices that are going to turn into this wonderful medicinal tonic that you can take to prevent illness, um, or you can take it when you actually do start to feel ill. So right now with all the sickness going on in the world, there's nothing better than having a little fire cider on hand uh, for these types of things. So let's talk through the basic ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe, and then we're gonna put it together. Um, so people put this together in lots of different ways, but some of the main basic ingredients that is included in almost all uh, fire ciders and master tonics are um, some onion, some turmeric root, some horseradish, garlic, ginger, um, hot peppers. Those are the main ones. And then some other add-ons that we're gonna do are some rosemary, some lemon, a cinnamon stick, and some peppercorns. Uh, so you can do this in any kind of combination that you choose but the main things you wanna have are these, onion, garlic, horseradish, turmeric, and ginger, uh, and the peppers, of course. And then you're going to be putting all that into apple cider vinegar. So you wanna make sure you have a good quality apple cider vinegar with the mother included in there. So we're gonna be using that. So we'll start off by chopping all of the vegetables up that we're gonna need. They don't have to be um, looking great or anything. We're gonna put the raw vegetables into our jar and then we'll be topping everything off with the apple cider vinegar, and then we're gonna let that sit for about six to eight weeks until it's completely uh, fermented, and then we will strain off all of these um, pulpy ingredients, and we'll be left with just the liquid in the end. So let's get started with chopping all of our ingredients. So I'm gonna be grating up my ginger, turmeric, and horseradish. I think they're, uh, they're a little more effective when they're grated up, but you can leave them in small chunks if you wanna do that as well. Also, uh, this is frozen ginger. Uh, these are all frozen. They're much easier to grate if you freeze them first. These last little chunks, we'll just throw those in.
guys. So let's take all of our ingredients now that we've chopped up and we're going to add them into our uh, half gallon mason jar. So I've got my onions, our cloves of garlic, and, uh, lemons. I just sliced mine up, but you can just do them in halves or wedges. All of the peppers, I just did those in half. I did leave the seeds. Here's our cinnamon sticks. Here's some chunks of horseradish and then also the shredded chunks of ginger and also the shredded and then a few chunks of the turmeric and also the shredded, which I will scoop up in a second. So, get all that into our jar. Few peppercorns. There we go. And now we're going to fill this entire jar with our apple cider vinegar. And I probably need to get a little more and I'll finish topping that off, but you guys get the idea. So from here, I will just put a lid on here loosely and we're gonna let this sit. It's gonna ferment. It's going to start to do its magic. We're gonna let this sit for about six weeks. Um, and then we will strain off all of these inside ingredients and we will just be left with a liquid. And that liquid is our fire cider that we can use as a medicinal tonic. Um, so I'm going to do a follow-up video where I show us straining this off later. But for now, um, we'll end the video with our fire cider um, starting off just like this. So I hope you guys have been inspired to try this at home. It's not very difficult. It's very simple. Just chop your ingredients, throw them in the jar, top it with the apple cider vinegar, and you're done. Hands off for six weeks. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and I'll see you guys next time here at Rowan Co. Farms.